listen. I didn't even mean for that to happen. Oh no, this isn't good. Ah! What do you think you're doing? Hmm, what have I done? Dobby, I need your help. Meet me by the bed at 7.30. What? Why? It's about the you-know-what. Oh. What you-know-what? It's, um, good girl business. Ew! Addie, meet me by the bed at 7.30. It's urgent. It's about the you-know-what. Ah, that I just don't see that world! That is your D. D. Sydney, Tiffany, I need your help. It's urgent. Meet me by the bed at 7.30. It's about the you-know-what. Yike! Uh-oh, this can't be good. What's the you-know-what? Yeah, I already told you, it's the relationship. I refuse to believe anything unless I know it's true. What is it? Um, no one's allowed to know until we make a firm decision about how this should end. Or something like that. Well, it's really not our choice. We're just part of this. There, There's other people that are part of this, too. Like, they're the managers of this, let's say. But we can't tell anyone unless they decide to tell. Uh, okay, I understand. Okay, glad you're all here. What happened? What's going on? It, why aren't Cheryl and Mason here? Because they can't be here right now. Why? Wait, what happened? You seem scared. Does something really bad happen? Yes. It's probably going to put a dent in their relationship. Uh-oh. Go ahead, spill. Well, um, well... While they were hanging out at the tree, I'm assuming they were having a romantic evening together, but while they were hanging out at the tree, um, I, I decided, I was trying to go for Shiloh, and then I saw her there, and I, 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 I asked if I could come up, and she said, okay, and I did that, and, <laughs> and, go on, go on, <sighs> and then I fell out, and Mason caught me. That's it? That's not going to do anything to their relationship. Was Shiloh happy that he saved you? No, that's not the end of the story. And yeah, she was pretty happy. She said that he was a hero or something like that. And then he helped me back onto the branch. He helped me onto the branch that they were sitting on. And then I fell off. And when I fell off, I kind of jolted the branch a little bit. And I caused him and Shiloh to fall off. Shiloh was trying to reach for him. And then she just slipped and fell. And then when we all fell, we tore... Me and Mason tried to get up, and we collided heads, and we accidentally kissed. Whoa, wait, what? You what? Oh my god, do you actually love him? No, I mean, he's a pretty nice guy. I do like him, but not, like, like him, like him. What happened after that? Did Shiloh get mad? Yeah, she got pretty mad. Well, this is not good. Did you try apologizing? Yeah, I said I was sorry to Mason. I'm pretty sure that Shiloh overheard. Um, and, um, Mason, I bet, tried to back himself up. And I saw them fighting before I went inside in a hurry. Uh-oh, this is not good. This is not good. We got convinced that that was an accident. Thank you. Um, don't look now, but here comes Shiloh. I can't believe you would do that. Shiloh? What, Bailey? I'm sorry, I didn't mean for that to happen. That was an accident. Fat chance. Ugh. Move out of the way, rabbit. Ow! I have a name, you know! Your lucky mom doesn't understand baby language and that she's not here right now. Woo! You would have to eat in the whole bottle of soap. Um, media turn! But we still haven't solved the problem. Uh, you know what? Meeting not adjourned. Uh, meeting back together. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Um, well, we have two options. We could either try and convince them that it was an accident. Well, Shiloh, Mason knows it was an accident. We could try and try to convince Shiloh that. Or, 
we could just naturally just let them go and deal with it themselves. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? Uh, yeah, it can get pretty violent with them. Well, you already tried to convince Shiloh that it was an accident, right? Right. So, in other words, then, um, well, I guess you have to wet them wool. I mean, it's the same way you have to wear disease wool. You can't just fight it and just be like, go away, go away, or go away. You have to wear it when it's coarse. Yeah, the bitch of the job, but I do bad, the job, Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. But, um, I'm gonna try to send one more person other than me to tell him. Um, Tiffany, you're the most honest and royal girl here. Well, I'm sorry, Dolby. I know you're really honest and royal too. But, I'm gonna send Tiffany just because she's older. And I feel like Shiloh will listen to her better. I'm sorry, Dolby. I love you though. Ah. Uh, okay. Shiloh! Shiloh, what could you ever possibly need, Tiff? Um, Bailey told me that it was an accident. Bailey wouldn't lie to me. I can tell when people are lying. Ugh. You know, it doesn't really matter what Bailey says right now. All that matters is that Mason's been cheating on me, and that that's final. No, he's not. This was a complete accident and a misunderstanding. You understand? They just bumped each other and just happened to do that while they bumped each other. I'm gonna go talk to Mason, and we'll see how he reacts. I'm not sure how I feel about him anymore. Um, are you saying that you're gonna break up? That's probably how it's going to end. And this time, forever. I can't. This, the, okay, the first time was my fault. But seriously. Ugh. Our relationship has been full of struggles and everything. It's just best if we break up. You can't do that. I... I may have to. No luck. I overheard. No! It's all gonna be my fault, too! There, there, Bailey. It's okay. We'll sort this out.